at 22 feet, 6 inches, 3,219 pounds dry weight, slideless with double bunks. If you've been looking for that upgraded entry-level bunkhouse RV, lightweight, maybe towable even by your SUV, I think you're going to love the Forest River Salem FSX 179 DBK. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young hanging out inside the all new Forest River Salem FSX 179 DBK. This is a slideless double bunk RV. Entry level with some features that you won't really find on a lot of entry level RVs. Lightweight, small, I mean, it's only 22 feet, six inches, roughly 3,200 pounds dry uh, and features additional seating. So this really could be a active couples coach. It'd be great for the if you needed to set something up on some property where you want to turn it into a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, or you say, Chris, we got a place down at the beach where we have land. We just don't have anything to put there. We just need an RV to rest our heads on. This one will easily sleep five plus comfortably. And if you got kids, even more so, because right here on the rear campsite are double over double bunks, 48 by, I believe, 74 is the size of these. Obviously, you know, they're, they're, they're cut off right here, but great for kids, big enough and sturdy enough that an adult could get up there too. Because unlike most slideless bunk models where the bunk is just a twin bed, having the double over double is pretty nice. Plus you got the Teddy Bear Series bunk mattress right there. You got one on the bottom. You got push button lights on both the top and the bottom and some additional cubby storage down there. So if you need to put your bags, maybe it's your rifle cases, your fishing rods, your tackle boxes, your laundry baskets, whatever, good spot to slide those right there. If you need to charge your cell phone, you got your dual USB charging port right beside your suburban furnace controls. Now this comes with a 20,000 BTU suburban furnace and a 13.5 BTU Coleman Mach roof mounted AC. Right now we have the vents closed. You can still feel some air coming out. So this would be kind of the quiet setting if you wanted to put it on there. But if you wanted to hear what it sounds like when it's fully open, that's about how loud the AC is. A lot of folks will ask, well, how loud are those roof mounted ACs? Hopefully this gives you a good idea of what it would sound like. Now in the off camp side, we do have our bathroom with the plastic bowl with the foot flush nestled right here. I'm a little cramped, but at least I got a foot rest right here in this little uh, cover of the piping. You got the corner mounted single basin sink with a little storage door right there. And I got my medicine cabinet mirrored right there with extra large raised lips, really like that because it gives us additional security for our stuff when traveling down the road. Now I got my single surround shower with my vent and fan and shower curtain right here. I'm not too cramped up or down or left or right. Kind of like the space in here. I got my notch for my soap. I got my shower nozzle right here and my shower curtain. So given the fact that for this year, they upgraded some of the features like you got press surface countertops, uh, which yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get to once we get uh, you know into the kitchen. Uh, that flow, everything matches from the countertop here to the table to the kitchen countertop. Very nice features, very nice flow, very aesthetic too. Because if you take a look at it, they've really brightened everything up with the beautiful white and dusted gray decor that we have in here. On the campsite, you got some storage up above your booth dinette. Solid wood cabinetry here. Oh, sorry, Bobby solid wood balance around large panoramic windows. That's another tip of the hat to Forest River and the Salem brand. They really give you good large windows for breeze and for light. But right here in my booth dinette, you can easily sit for people. This does reduce down and into a sleeper. And the cushions that they have are this fabric. It's not the leatherette like I've come you know, to, to know. And granted, the leatherette's nice, and this is dark, so it'll show wear and tear less. It'll also show stains less, but it, the fabric is a little bit more sweat. Nice, because that leatherette, you stick to it. It's like you peel yourself off, even with sheets and everything. So having this here is actually kind of nice. And you have some storage underneath both sides. 
just lift up the bench seat and you got a little ply board panel right there. So you got some additional storage on both sides, but that's where you do your reconnecting is right here on the booth. Enjoy the camp cooked meals, reconnect with the loved ones, or if you're just using it as the hunting or fishing cabin, hang out, watch TV, enjoy talking about you know the day's activities and just reconnecting and creating those memories. Press surface countertops that are molded over here on the off camp side for my kitchen. I do have a double cutting board sink cover for my undermounted sink. I like how big that is. Plus if I needed to do some cleaning, I got additional prep space here and sink space. Still pretty good sink space even when you cover up half of it. High rise uh, matte black feature on my faucet. Plus I got the two burner cooktop with the glass cover and the little push button light. I got the pull out drawer, full extension on the ball bearing drives, good solid wood construction right there. There's my 20,000 BTU furnace. Some additional storage right here. And they even gave me a frosted glass inlay in the cabinet up above my kitchen. Now, come up to the front of this coach, and I think this is where a little bit of versatility comes into play because we got a nice bench style seat right here. So if you use this as a couple's coach, or maybe you're a couple, you got a couple of dogs, great sleeping space up there for the dogs is the bunks. I'm watching TV, I'm reconnecting, maybe we're looking at the sunset or the sunrise. I got a little cup of coffee right here. I have the option of this being just a seat, not just a bed, like you do with most RVs of this style. Now, this is not a jackknife sofa like you're seeing in some Murphy bed combos. This is actually a bench seat that if you wanted to even access the storage underneath, you could because it'll slide out, it'll lift up and come off. And you can see right there, there's my wood slats. So if I wanted to get to the pass through storage, I could, but it's pretty much just a one touch release for your bed, which is plush, foam top, queen size, east to west, nestled right here in the front cap. Got me some storage up above it, a TV backer plus power and cable connection, and I'm pre-wired for the 4G LTE extension. I got me some ward storage over here, dual USB plus 110. And last but not least, inside, I got my command panel over here to run out my awning, cut on my water pump, my heater, my lights, check my tanks, my battery, the whole nine. Great little feature-driven entry-level bunkhouse model that if you're looking for some double bunks, you need, maybe you got bigger kids, you can't do the twin bunks. This 179 DBK is one that's right in your wheelhouse. We've seen the inside. What do you say we're gonna take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the all new Forest River Salem FSX 179 DBK. Starting right up front, diamond plated rock guard on the bottom, seamless super flex roof going over the top. We do have that single welded steel frame underneath this coach, giving you some support. 120 pound LP tank up front. I would suggest getting two, only because two's better than one. Just me, especially if you're gonna be doing some camping where it's gonna be a little bit chilly, you need to run that heater, get you two pumps. Hand crank up front, plus battery disconnect located on the frame. Come around to the campsite, you'll see that we have front and rear stabilizer jacks, plus this does come with the accessibility, which is an enclosed underbelly with a panel system. It's not just one sheet where if something happens, you gotta take off the whole thing. You can take off panel by panel. You wanna trickle charge those batteries, we are set up with 10 amp quick connect right there. Nice little feature to have. Plus finished off storage right here. And it is passed through. This is the bed, the Murphy style slash queen bed up front. But you notice pass, the pass through is finished off. Good space, extra wide storage doors too. So if you need to put some chairs, beach, you know, beach stuff in there, you absolutely can. Large awning with the LED light strip, steel fold up steps with the extra large grab handle sealed safety windows all the way around. You do have yourself a GFCI outlet outside. So if you need to plug in, charge up your cell phone, maybe plug in the radio, you got the option to do that there. 14 inch steel rim with the nitro filled tires on that Dexter Easy Lube axle. And you even have a little mini outside kitchen space on this 179. Got the Everchill fridge freezer combo right there with the little mini ice trays. Got a little storage compartment right here with somebody's keys in it. Love that. Uncle Chris just found himself a new car. And LP Quick Connect right there. 
And if you need to do some charging of your cell phone, you got not only the 110 outlet right here, you got the dual USB charging ports right there as well. Four by four Suho storage on the back with the spare tire mounted, external shower with hot and cold, plus backup camera, arched roof with the three inch rain nozzles, cable satellite connection, as well as the low point drains and the main terminations, the gray tank and the black tanks. Now on this one, you got a 43 gallon fresh and dual 30s. You got a 30 gallon gray tank, 30 gallon black tank. And speaking of black tank, got your black tank flush right there. 30 amp plug in, city water connection, fresh tank fill with the vent right there. Back of the furnace, back of the water heater, other side of the pass-through storage. And the most important part of any RV is going to be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? Now, dry weight, we're just a little more than 3,000 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, you're looking at 4,800 pounds. Still under that 5,000 pound mark for those, you know, uh, SUV, for some of those SUVs to tow. But that's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and Gander and you say, hey, what does that mean? Because here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. Here's where I want to go camping. You give us that information, we can help you find the RV of your dreams. But for 22 feet, six inches, roughly, you know, 3,000 and some change dry with double over double bunks and slideless. I gotta tell you, man, this Forest River Salem FSX 179 DBK is good if you're looking for the entry level bunkhouse RV to dip your toe into the RV waters. Let this be the first on, you know, entrance into that lifestyle. I think you'll enjoy it. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what'd you like about this? What'd you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you. Plus while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Hope you enjoyed the 179 DBK. And until next time, please come check out an RV because they're fun. I'll see you soon.